Yeah. What's up okay. guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's a very nice day here in the city. Um, it's really nice to see the food. I'm home and I'm actually making something to eat. Now I'm making some chicken. Um, I'm gonna have it with some salad and the kids are gonna have um, the kids are gonna have hot dogs. Nathan's hot dogs. Mm. Our favorite. So I'm just gonna show you in the kitchen what I'm working with. Baby's sleeping, kids are cleaning their room. Um, and yeah, so let's get this day started. If you're interested, just keep on watching. So the hot dogs are boiling and the chicken is cooking. So I put some balsamic vinegar in the chicken so that it can marinate. I marinated in it first and then I seasoned it with the oregano. This is the balsamic vinegar that I use that is from Trader Joe's. I love this one for salads and to marinate meat, it's so good. And then this is the adobo that I put. Some oregano, more in salt. Of course, some garlic. Yeah, so basically that's what I do. Um, yeah. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and go do laundry. Um, yeah, because she's getting real over here with the coronavirus. I live in New York, so that goes to show you the craziness that's out here. Yeah, it's crazy out here. I don't know what is going to happen. You know, I don't know. The schools are shut down. My kids don't have school tomorrow or Friday. No, Friday is tomorrow. Today is Friday. Monday. I they closed on Monday because they're going to teach the students, um, not the students, the teachers how to do distance learning just to make sure that they can teach the kids at home, like do online learning. So I don't even know. How long are they going to close the schools for? Which is insane. Yesterday I went to BJ's and it was super crowded because of the coronavirus. Unbelievable, guys. A huge freaking line. That's freaking scary, guys. I don't know if we're going to be quarantined. What I do know, guys, is that it's crazy out there. And the world, I don't know, the earth, what's going to happen, you know? The girls from my job, since I'm on maternity leave right now, told me that they had to put their mask on and all the stuff, and they're seeing patients with masks and blah blah blah. Give it up for nurses, y'all, because us nurses, we bust our butts. We bust our butts, and rain, sun, shine, thunderstorm, whatever. It's, you know what? We're there, and we're working. We do it, and I think that nurses don't get enough respect. I'm a nurse with <laughs> wet stains, like I said. Remove it because of the baby. The baby drooled on me a little bit. Mom life, but what about this is real, this is factual, guys. This is real, the real deal. Okay, so now let's go and do laundry, and if you guys want to keep going, let's keep on watching. Mm -hmm. And I look like, I look crazy, guys, but I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna come back. You know, my hair is in a messy bun. And she's on the diet. Boy, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave your comments down below and show your girl some love. Later, bye. All right, guys, I put the clothes to wash. It's washing now in that machine. Ooh. All right, guys, so I'm in the laundry right now. I put the clothes to wash. It's looking crazy again, and I'm gonna fix myself. I promise. It's coming. Yeah, so we're just here hanging out. The machine is the machine is 21 minutes, so we're waiting here. Yeah. It's so beautiful. It's like 70 degrees today. I know that it's 55 in New York. So nice. There's hardly anybody outside because of the quarantine. Well, we're not quarantined, but because of the coronavirus. So scary, guys. Here's Trump in a conference talking about the coronavirus. Crazy. It's crazy. So Trump declared a national emergency. My clothes are dry right now, and I don't know if you guys can see me well because the sun is like right on my face. Oh. All right, guys. So my clothes are dry right now, like I said. Um. So Trump just declared. Trump just declared 
this a national emergency um he did a whole conference he's actually doing he's still talking but um i walked out because i just wanted to record this real quick um he wants all the hospitals to activate their state of emergency um like preparedness plan which is very important because um it's good that everybody's active and on the same page to treat these patients also um, oh my god my hair's like all over the place also um and also they came up with a plan um i think there's like a, a limit number of patients that they're gonna have in the hospital for a limit number of time and i think that's 96 hours being a nurse um i think that's a, a wonderful plan they are limiting the number of time to 96 hours that's awesome that's really awesome because they're cutting down the time go in get treated and then i guess continue quarantining at home i'm not sure how that works but i'm on maternity leave so i'm not working right now at the hospital but like i said big thumbs up to all the nurses that are all the doctors that are all the pas and ps because it's not easy um especially like you know like isolate i don't know it's just a lot and i know it's probably very chaotic and all these people going to work scared now but they gotta do what they have to do so big thumbs up for them they also came up with this plan where they will um, have this Google search engine. And with Google, oh, it's so nice. Yeah. With Google, what happens yeah. is people, yeah. there's gonna be a thousand and seven or something like that, or 700 um, search engines working on this. So basically, people are gonna Google, go to a website or Google their symptoms. And then, if no symptoms, fine. If yes, symptoms, I guess they're gonna categorize it. And if you have symptoms that are related to the coronavirus, what's going to happen is they're going to send you to these labs. Well, drive-through testing labs that you don't even have to get out of your car, which is awesome. They were working on that behind the scenes, and that's what they're doing. And I think that's a wonderful idea, drive-through labs. That's awesome. It's not going to be for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's going to be limited testing. So if you do think that you really, really have the coronavirus, then of course, go get tested. Um, but... If it's minor symptoms and stuff like that, and I know your body and you know that you could possibly be in contact with somebody who you probably have, who knows. But just use your critical knowledge, you know. Alright guys, so let me go ahead and dry my clothes. Alright guys, so I'm going to just go back now and I'm going to warm, not warm up my clothes, fold my clothes. Also guys, I also received... Um, uh email from my son's school so basically the school is going to be closed it's already they already notified us that it was going to be closed monday but it's also going to be closed tuesday and also um they might extend it to march 27th so it's kind of like we're eyeballing it right now so we'll see guys but this is crazy new york is a little bit crazy right now you know it's scary it's mostly isolated we're not even quarantined yet but um it's a scary thing so stay tuned guys we'll see wash your hands guys wash your hands with that being said let me go in and pull my clothes guys so i'm home now and i'm gonna end this vlog because the baby is crying whoa what happened cutie huh what happened all right guys so basically i came home and i ate a fish sandwich because today is friday and you know you're not supposed to eat meat for us anyway and um now i'm here and yeah so guys stay safe so guys stay safe promise me wash your hands of course please Although people are supposed to know this already, which I don't understand. If you see an elderly outside, help them. Ask them if they're okay. Um, keep them in mind because this virus really, you know, affects every. It can affect everybody, but mostly the elderly and people with um, weakened immune systems, guys. So keep that in mind. And with that being said, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. And I'll keep you posted. Thanks so much for watching. Love you. Bye.